be showing you how to create Skripinski triangle in Scratch. And it's a cool fractal which you which you can easily create. And basically the fractal is a triangle instead of a triangle instead of a triangle. And the way you create it is you choose a random you have three dots and you choose a random point on the screen. You draw a dot there and then you go half the distance to one of the three random dots and then you do that again so half the distance from here to there is like this and then half the distance and it's just half the distance all the time and this creates this really cool fractal and there's a cool number five video which explains it which i'll link somewhere and yeah i'm going to be showing how to create this it's really cool so how to create this Skripinski triangle is first we're gonna have the dots that you can drag around. So we're gonna name this first dot as the first dot. And we're gonna make a little black dot. Get black and make a dot. It's a bit bigger, so let's make it smaller. I think that's around the right size. And if you can see, it's a little bit cut off. And to fix that problem, you can always draw a transparent square around it. And that'll fix it. And then this black dot. Because it's a black dot. And we want to make a drag wall. So the way you do that is you pretty easy set the mode to draggable. And let's position it in the beginning around the y of 0. And I mean the x of 0 and y of 120. So the x to 0 and y 120. We also need to show it in case we ever accidentally hide it. There. Now we need to have the second one, which is going to be the one around over here, I think. That looks right. So, it says that position is negative 150, and around y, negative 75. Now let's do the next one, and say 150. We're just going to like, okay, that looks like a triangle to me. Maybe let's adjust it to 120 and negative 120. That looks much better. Much more of like an equal triangle. Now we need to have the pen that actually draws stuff. So like a little dot so we can see it if we ever need to. It's good to do this when drawing with pen stuff. Like a black dot. Two pixels. And name this black point. And what we're gonna do is the way it works is you choose a random position on the screen and you travel half the distance to one of these three dots. And then you do that again to a random one of these three dots. So we're gonna create a forever loop that does it forever. In the beginning though, we're going to go to random position. And, yeah. And then we're going to point to one of the random dots. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to make a variable that generates a random dot. So we're going to call this variable random dot. And we're going to set the random dot to one of the random dots, one, two, or three. We can, use, we can do that by using the pick random blank to blank operator, which generates a random number. And so, now if you can see it generates a random 2, 1, 3, and it'll be switching in between them. So now we're going to point towards one of them. So we're going to point towards random dot. And then if you move the distance to it, we're going to go to it. So let's say the distance from our mouse pointer to here is 5. And we move five pixels, we're going to move to it, but we want to move half of it. So we're going to move, we're going to move distance to the random dot divided by two. So and we're also going to make a little mark. Oh, I forgot to add the pen extension, which we need because it's pen. Let's also make 
hit a one pixel dot and the color to be black because that what makes the most contrast. So now if we turn on turbo mode, it creates this turbulence with triangle. But it's still not fast enough. As you can see, if I drag it, it takes a very long time. So what we want to do is make it faster. That's where custom blocks come in. Now custom blocks basically you can create your own block and define what it does. So I'm gonna create a custom block that um, does it multiple times very fast. So we're gonna say um, draw points number of times and just numbers value that we're gonna be able to enter in. We're gonna make sure to click that run without screen refresh. So we're gonna repeat the number of times that we wanna draw and basically just repeat this. And in the beginning, we're going to erase all of it. Okay, that looks good. So now we're going to draw the point a thousand times. Let's see if that works. So yeah, now you have a Skripinski's triangle. Let's also hide the random dot variable. That doesn't look pretty. You can, if you want it more, more detailed, you can change it to, let's say, something like 3,000. That way it draws it 3,000 times, 3,000 dots every frame. But keep in mind that it also makes it a little bit more laggy. You can also use Turbo Warp, but yeah, I'm not using Turbo Warp right now. Go check out Turbo Warp, it's pretty cool. Yeah, now you have a script and subscribe roll that you can move and stretch. Cool, right?